guys welcome back to my channel my name is vuvu and this is vuvu vena reads if you are new on here please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below and joining the family if you are a returnee and member of the fam bam welcome back fam and thank you for joining me once again so today we are reviewing um bolu babalola's debut called honey and spice so if you're interested in this i've called this bolu week okay so if you're interested in this black love romance please do stay tuned so bubavena on the score reads is an amazing book reviewer also youtuber she reviews books on youtube and if i'm not mistaken she also has a blog as well so please if for your connection with literature get in touch with or follow at v-u-v-u-v-e-n-a underscore reads she is based in south africa and i think it is also extremely important to follow literary content creators who are based outside of who are based outside of the west and in continental africa because they do a really good job of bridging the gap we appreciate you Vuvu, for bringing us turning pages and for bringing us your booktube channel you know this is a chance for people to actually see some people that i really enjoy please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below and if you are returning welcome back fam. Vuvu, you're amazing thank you so much for your time so in honey and spice we fo follow two main characters who happen to be each other's love interests should i even call it that i'm just trying to think through this <laughs> thought okay anyway so we are viewing um this relationship or whatever transpires in the story through the eyes of kiki banjo who happens to be a huge influence on campus at widewell university so um kiki is a bright young thing in her second year at university and she has started a podcast called brown sugar where she advises the black Blackwell community is what she has called the black caucus of that um of that university right this is whitewell so the black caucus of that university is referred to as blackwell so she gives her sisters advice about fuck boys and all that tomfoolery right she gives them the right advice her herself she is a person who is um mostly aloof she keeps to only one other person who happens to be her best friend and roommate amina otherwise she is unknown anonymous she just treads through the community and society as a powerful unknown if you get what i'm trying to say she's like the sister in charge head sister in charge but nobody really actually knows her deep enough except for amina <clears throat> sorry there is a toad in my throat <clears> throat> okay so this is who she is and um like i'm saying she's very bright she has the only other black um or the only black lecturer as her mentor slash um tutor on campus and um because she knows everybody even though she isn't known by everybody she happens to have bumped into the new guy in town and it so happens that this guy's demeanor persona really trips her off on first meeting right the sweet meet is delectable i absolutely love how bolu um put these two together so the said guy his name is malachi he's a new kid on the block he started during i it sounds like during the semester or during the course of the year he transferred from one university to this one and their lives literally collide so upon meeting um this raises a red flag to kiki because she knows everybody so soon after that um things start to evolve about the new boy on the block and how he could easily fall into the men um sphere of fuck boyery okay so this is what this is about so um their lives are then academically brought together and this is where um not giving any spoilers yet because most of what i'm saying is already on the synopsis right so this is where the fake relationship trope comes in so we know what would then transpire right in a fake relationship slash um romance novel and what i want to say is that bolu does it so well you guys she 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 delivers man she she satiates right when it comes to how this trope plays out so i don't want to delve more into the story but i want to tell you that these are two characters who have different histories and who have different levels of brokenness that 
that they somehow provide the the healing balm in each other's lives in spheres outside of just romance if you hear what i'm trying to say and i think that that was a beautiful thing to bring in this is definitely a new adult um novel it is not really full of spice which is something else that i actually enjoyed where she does get spicy she does it very well from the very beginning of the story after these two um collide she does give us that like she dangles a fruit in front of our eyes, right? And in her dangling this fruit, she really builds the chemistry off of this one moment that was enough to carry that chemistry throughout the book. Yes, there is a little bit of pepper, I should say, here and there. But I feel like that very first steamy moment that she gave us was enough. And by the time that the second one comes, it is a gratification because... It, we've seen this right and we wanted to see how far it could go um that being said i'm gonna delve into a few things that i did like about the book i absolutely loved reading this book because for me i have been looking for a black romance between two black characters who are of african descent who could easily fall in love with each other without bringing in um a huge amount of trauma and and mental illness even though these things are real to us they are real in society in general regardless of your race what i really was looking for is for that to be not the central thing in their love story and i think bolu did that so very well for me like i'm saying there were certain um themes that were explored depression is one of the themes that were explored um abuse is some of the themes explored in different ways right especially though in romance and how to kind of pinpoint it for yourself right having a partner that is not um reciprocal to you and how that can damage a young person who's trying to navigate life the other thing that is explored so very well for me here is how parents model love to their children and how that can come with either peace or trauma and i think that kiki and and um kai's uh, parents and their love stories are just kind of juxtaposed against each other throughout the story and you get to see that even for coming from a healthy um vantage point of what love should look like there are certain things that happen in society that can easily scar you for love and um those are also explored <clears throat> and I love also how Bolu carries this ha whole idea of virginity versus non-virginity and how that choice doesn't necessarily define who you are or how you should navigate relationships. I also love her being adamant in showing that a boy can wait for you to be ready and you can still have fun in that kind of setting without feeling pressure to do things that you don't want to do. I absolutely love this, especially it being part of a, a new adult um romance right <clears throat> also we explore the whole notion of sisterhood of love of black sisterhood and black love from girl to girl and diversity is also explored in terms of who we choose to become in society when we have the choice to be outside of our parents nest and throw it into society who we choose to define as it's absolutely so well done man i absolutely absolutely loved this journey and i did rate this book a five out of five stars if you want to see me reading this book do stay tuned for my reading vlog that's coming out on wednesday otherwise thank you so very much for joining me and i really do hope that you pick this up when it comes out on the 21st of july and i'm pretty sure it will be a fun trip for you as well until next time thank you very much for joining me and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye now